Hello friends, welcome to Storytime with Fade. And today we are reading Mr. Duck Means Business. It's written by Tammy Sauer and illustrated by Jeff Mack. This book is about a duck who follows the same routine every day until something happens and breaks his routine. Let's find out in this cute story. Mr. Duck Means Business. Mr. Duck lived by himself at the pond. Each day he followed a tight schedule. From six o'clock in the morning until seven o'clock, he would stretch his wings. From seven o'clock until eight o'clock, he would fluff his feathers. At precisely 8.01, he would glide across the perfectly still water. Ah, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet. I have everything I need. Day after day, week after week, and year after year, everything was the same. And Mr. Duck was very happy. Then one especially hot summer day, Mr. Duck had just begun his morning gliding when he saw... Pig? Look out below! Wink, wink! Splash! Mr. Duck sputtered. He muttered. He tail a fluttered. But Pig did not get the message. Mr. Duck was all set to give Pig a strongly worded speech regarding private property when, well, there you are, said Cow. Let's see your moves, called Pig. Jump in. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Duck, said Cow, as she plowed past. Moo, moo, splash. Mr. Duck grumbled. He mumbled. He flip-flop fumbled. But Pig and Cow did not get the message. Mr. Duck was all set to tell them what's what when, hey, said Goat, we've been looking all over for you. Anyone up for a game of Marco Polo? called Pig. Last one in is a rotten egg, cheeped a chick. Come on, Mr. Duck, said Cow, you're it. The water got wild, the scenery got crowded, and the peace and quiet, it was gone. Mr. Duck tapped, he flapped, he totally snapped. Quack! And somebody got the message. Perhaps we've overstayed our welcome, said Chick. Oh, said the other animals. Out, out, out of my pond, cried Mr. Duck. This time, I mean business. So sorry. My apologies. Goodbye for good, said Mr. Duck. Sorry to have bothered you, said Chick. Thanks for letting us swim in your pond. Alone at last, Mr. Duck returned to his routine. He stretched his wings there was no splashy belly flopping. He ruffled his feathers. There was no annoying water ballet. He glided across the perfectly still water. There was certainly no rowdy round of Marco Polo. Ah, said Mr. Duck. It's so peaceful, so quiet, and that's just the way I like it. On Monday, quiet. On Tuesday, very quiet. On Wednesday, peaceful. On Thursday, very peaceful. On Friday, yawn. On Saturday, Mr. Duck twiddled his feathers peacefully and quietly, of course. And on Sunday, Mr. Duck had a plan. These days, Mr. Duck still loves to stretch at six o'clock. He still loves to fluff his feathers at seven o'clock. He still loves to glide across the perfectly still water at precisely 8.01. But sometimes life calls for a little noise. Noise welcome from two o'clock p.m. to four o'clock p.m. 
especially with friends. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's story, friends. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time.